gonna get one last bloom out of her. Look. Okay, so I have like this dish set up that had like honey and everything in it and I'll remove it later at a later date. And then I had these extra pumpkins that weren't cut open and I gift them to them, gift these to them, <laughs> my bloodline. And I, I just ask for, you know, their blessing, their guidance in the new year. And this is their feast. I put it between two trees. So it's in a liminal space. It's very Hecatean. <laughs> she kind of watches over. And then this, I put rice, um, some champagne, orange marmalade, some money, some uh, oh, uh, tea. Some of that tea I got on my live unboxing of my Tinked Wild bags. It's like cinnamon and black tea. And I give that to them. And this is how I celebrate as a witch on Samhain. This is what I do. And I always give some sort of meal, potatoes, squash. This year it's pumpkins to my ancestors. So I just wanted to share that. I'm just trying to share more. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys, if this gives you any, you can give them pumpkins, you know, if, if you don't have like, or you can make them a whole meal. It just, it's completely up to you. Some years I make them a meal. Some years I set out a meal that we made for them. Um, and at the beginning, or I want to say around the 15th, I actually went to the crossroads and I left an offering there because it's right down the road for Hecate because I always feel her really powerfully this time of year and I can go into the, my relationship with her but I've had many adventures with her and um for my ancestors too and I had apples I did just bought fresh apples and I squished I, I took it out of my car because last minute you know it just hit me I was driving home so I, sw I swung around swung back to the crossroads smashed an apple in half and gave half to Hecate and half to my ancestors. And this is the second full meal for my ancestors. And I always do this every Halloween. Even if I'm feeling a little, you know, melancholy or whatever, I usually do this tradition. I always try to give to them because I know that they help guide me in the new year to come. And as everything's starting up or, you know, get their blessing. So I just wanted to share that and I will come back for this <laughs> bowl at a later date. <laughs> I'm going to let all of this sit. I'll probably come back for that in the spring because all of this will go and get snow covered and I'll retrieve that either sometime in the winter or the spring. Okay. Okay. So I want to show you guys my hair. I put that pin that I got out of my King Wild Mystery Bag in my hair tie with my little smoky cord. It is, it is Samhain, it is Halloween, and I'm going to take you guys to the crossroads and give a little bit of an offering again, and yeah, okay. So I just wanted to show you, look how cute you can wear it in your hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is the crossroads I want to show you. I love it here. It is so freaking pretty. So I'll walk you up here and I always leave an offering over here okay Let's see if I can show this from like the perspective of like the road so there's this road this is a crossroads right here okay see it's so pretty and I always leave like offerings I'm gonna leave this one for Hecate and her dogs it's this strudel that we had left over 
catch this German strudel. Can you see me? Okay, good. And this strudel right here, I'm gonna leave for Hecate right here. Perfect. And that is what I do occasionally, and especially today's Stalin, today's Halloween, the veil is the thinnest, and all of October I usually really sense it. So I come here a lot in October, <laughs> more than any other time in the year, but there are occasions where like midsummer, I get the urge to come to the crossroads, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys, it's so freaking pretty. So pretty, it's like, I'm teary. I got emotional because I feel her there. I feel I have a deep relationship with Hecate. I've been working with her this entire, well, she's been a constant on my path since the beginning. So I have so many, but I really keep that. I really keep our journey private, but I just, I do share bits and pieces of coming to the crossroads. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I gotta go clean a horse pen. Bye guys. Hi, baby. And this, this is what I want for Christmas. Look at him. Oh my God. Stunning. Oh, you're so pretty. Look at your braids. <laughs> looking at the dog. Hi, dog. Hi. Look how pretty you are. This is a all black draft cross, I think. He's a big boy. Oh my gosh. Yes, hello. You are so cute. You want to say hi? Come give me a hi. 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 Say hi. You're so beautiful. A little bit of my life, my Halloween, Samhain, All Hallows Eve vlog. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.